dig into some food science with Mr. Curry. Yes, let's, shall we? Uh-huh. I heard you guys did some paprika schnitzel. Schnitzel? Is that how you say it? <laughs> schnitzel. Schnitzel. German, right? Uh-huh. Well, was it hot? Did you try it? No, it wasn't. Oh. Hot. Well, there's some pepper in there, right? Yeah. Do you ever wonder what makes peppers hot? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a chemical in there. It's called capsicum. And it's an oily, odorless chemical in the peppers that actually fools your body into thinking it's hot. A scientist from many years ago, his name is Scoville, and he came up with the Scoville units. And the higher the units, the hotter the pepper. I bet you've seen one of these before, haven't you? Yeah. A jalapeno yeah. pepper. Yeah. Think it's very hot? Yeah. yeah. And it's actually the seeds in there that is what causes the heat. And the jalapeno pepper runs between 2,500 and 8,000 Scoville units. This one here is called an Anaheim pepper, and it's a little milder. And this one runs about 2,500 Scoville units. So it has a little bit of a kick, but not too much. Now this baby right here, oh who wants to eat it? <laughs> not me. Oh good, because I like to watch people have tears streaming down their face. Because this thing has 25,000 Scoville units. Oh my gosh. That's a lot. <laughs> that makes me cry just thinking about it. You think there are hotter peppers? Yeah. Are. Yeah. There's some peppers that are actually dangerous to eat. Like ghost peppers? You know something about this. <laughs> yes, absolutely. They're extremely hot. To learn how to make a dish with peppers, watch our Germany show. Bye. Bye. Every man, woman, boy, and girl. Baking, raising, boiling, using pots, pans, and cups. What's up? It's up. It's up. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Keep looking up. What's up? It's up. It's up.